Well, good morning everybody and greetings from the Hershey RV show. It is the first public day, a Wednesday, September 11th, and I decided to start at the right hand side. I mean, it's a huge RV show, so we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff, but this is the Lance a Campers area. And uh, since I showed you um, the, the Lands Campers a couple of years ago, you know, I've been intrigued by the build quality and, and certain attention to detail that they have, like, like this tray here in the, in the storage compartment. So, so let's walk into this one. It has a Truma Combi on board, which is a unit that does water heater and the furnace at the same time. All, all of them do have a slide out, and as you can see, It has a, a front bed, and I like the fact that they put a window in the front, so you can, you know, look, look, uh, look, look, look out. And uh, they're very, very nice, like what they call them, picture windows, you know, uh, large windows, so you can see a lot outside and not, you know, the, the tinting not awfully dark. So this is nice. This is basic, but they seem to be fairly well built. This is not ceramic, but it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good quality material uh, for sure. And this is a nice uh, Dometic propane range here. Very cool and you have a fairly large uh, oven down there. Let me see the bathroom. Well, it is a wet bath and that might be one of the negatives, but no, not really, it's not really a wet bath. You do have a shower curtain here. And I kind of like this, these things where you can, you know, Modified, so you have you have a little a little more uh, elbow room in there. It's very cool. And let me get in. It's, it's, it's kind of kind of almost like a like a bathtub. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of headroom and pretty good elbow room. Yeah, this is not bad. Yeah, I, at the beginning I thought it was a a wet bath because it does not have a sink there. So everything you would have to do at the at the kitchen sink. And this is your standard Nord Cold, uh, either two-way or three-way refrigerator absorption type. You know, it works on propane, it works on on DC, on AC, <clears throat> at least. And these are very cool. This is, by the way, a. Um, a I don't see. I don't see a model number, but um, it will be. You, you could apparently tow it with a 3,500-pound um, tow vehicle, which. It's kind of hard to believe because it is a, a fairly large. Plastics, you don't have to worry about you know, rusting or anything like uh, that. So certified green. I don't see any pricing information or anything like that on this lens camper. So I guess you would have to ask the, the dealer. Let me look at another one of this. And they, of course, have. This is a very similar floor plan to, to our uh, Mini Tini, the trailer. As you know, our what I own is a Winnebago Micro Mini Travel Trailer. Very similar floor plan with a bed in the front. And I like the fact that you have windows all over the place. And uh, here we have the Dometic range and very, still very, very nice materials everywhere. And this is like a wardrobe closet there. That's interesting. And they do have the, the Norco refrigerator in the back. And then a corner bathroom which is very similar to what I have in my current uh, camper, but it does feel more spacious and very deep, nice sink. Very cool. I've always liked uh, this, uh, this Lance campers. That's probably the biggest one they have. So let's, let's come from there to here and, and see a couple of these uh, campers that they have here.
We don't have pricing information or any of this uh, posted. All the pricing is on the inside. It's on the inside? Okay. Okay, let's just uh, take a look at this one. See, as you can see, we have an on and uh, uh, in there, an on and uh, oh, here it is the the pricing. This one uh, MSRP 53, but oh, today only 45 and change here at the RV show. And these are very cool. A Lance camper makes some great campers. I mean, the, the bed as always in, it is a camper, so it might be a little you know difficult to to get into. But once you get into, you have nice. Uh, storage down there and uh, and the nightstand and the two little lights I don't see any USB back there which uh, maybe I should climb up here and see if they have okay you have a power power outlet there and here on this side you have a power outlet USB and the 12 volt so that's that's uh, that's a good design feature right there because, as you know, we all like to go to sleep with our mobile devices these days. Nice domestic range with, a, with an oven. The, the sink is a little shallow and it's plastic, but uh, you know, there's certain compromises that you have to make. And, uh, and this, I don't know how to open this. Oh, it was unlocked. Oh, those are some huge uh, drawers under the under the dinette for storage let me give you some information here this is uh, Lance 85 5s 855 s and uh, we'll find out more information online and and I'll, I'll post it somewhere so you can see what we're dealing with here this is the 850 uh, Eight, eight uh, feet and 11 inches. And this one is 45, 5, 8, uh, 39, 206 today at the RV show. Very similar, very similar unit. Slightly different uh, floor plan. And this one has a wet bath here on this side. And that's me holding the GoPro. Actually, let me go back because I didn't see if this one had a uh, wet or a dry bath it has the same same wet bath which is uh i mean it's not bad as far as wet baths go we i fit completely here i mean the elbow room it's yeah it's all right it's not bad at all now let's let's uh i mean they get smaller as you go this way i believe so let's let's see the the smallest one, in case you have like a, like a small truck, <clears throat> you know, a half ton or something like that, you might be able to, to tow it with this. This one is a 610. That will be the bed size, I suppose. And of course, you get a, a lot less re real estate when you get into something as small as this. Here, you, uh, this one will be 34, 703, 29, 913. And this is the Lance 650. This will be the, 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 the smallest model. As you can see, it's also narrower here in the bed area. You only get, only, only she gets a nightstand. You don't get one. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a power outlet back there. And over here, you have your USB, another power outlet, your TV, so you can watch TV while you're in bed. And uh, it's a pretty nice stereo by Jensen. I think they have updated those in most of the RVs. You know, the, the manufacturers are realizing that that we need, you know, modern stereos with uh, Bluetooth and all that stuff. This is a nice suburban here. And the sink is, let's face it, it's kind of shallow. And uh, I would like to know, okay, okay, here we have all the specs. I would like to know about like, like uh, things like, which, is, which are the, the things that will prevent you the most from long-term uh, boondocking is the, the holding tank size. And here you have a 22 gallon fresh water tank, 15 and 16 gray and black respectively. And those are not very large. I mean, that will get me through two, maybe three days boondocking. And that's about it. Now let's go to the big, to the big one for which you would probably need a very large uh, truck, probably uh, an F-350 style, uh, or 250 at least. 
Yeah, and this is very large, kind of a monster storage there. Here you have, it has a generator, has outside shower. You know, this is uh, almost a, almost a class C size-wise. Look at that. That's a huge thing. Let's go in here real quick. Of course, the RV show is getting uh, quickly uh, uh, more and more crowded. Yeah, you're not living in it every day. Well, if you go across country, you are. Yeah. And uh, here we are. This one is 64995 MSRP, but here at the RV show, you can get it for 55896. This is a Lance 1172. And let's see some of the specs here. Okay, now we're talking 42 gallon fresh water, 35 and 35 gray and black respectively. You could do almost a week there if you save water. And here you have a nice bedroom. You even have a, a wardrobe closet there. And of course, I'm sure you have, a, I don't see a USB ports anywhere, but I'm sure you're gonna have them somewhere. I'm gonna climb here on the bed and uh, Actually, I don't see any USB ports, which would be unfortunate. Well, ugh. I'm gonna find out more information online because, okay, they're up here, they are. They're kind of far away, so you would need an extension. They're, they're kind of far from where you would want them. I think that might be a design flaw here on, the, on this particular camper for someone like, like, like me, you know, we like to... Here's a very uh, adequate dry bath for a camper of this size. Pretty nice sink. Actually, I like this, ma this material. It's plastic, but it's good quality plastic. And, uh, you know, met, met a nice quality faucet. And here you almost have like a small bathtub. It a, has a sit down. Uh, it's a sit down bathtub even, if you really wanted to. And, uh, it's nice, it's a nice, uh, has a nice shower head quality. I wonder how this would compare with an Oxygenics, but we will find out one of these days. Even a, a towel, towel uh, holder there. And I have no idea how to open this here. All right, you have a small medicine cabinet, very nice mirror here, you know, tall, which is good for, you know, oh, if, if you're tall or if you're short, you can use that mirror. And uh, the, the windows are smallish, except for this nice picture window here in the back. If you're backing into a, to a beachfront site, this would be really, really cool. Pretty ample counter space here. Pretty decent sink, actually. And you have a counter extension here. Propane oven. Let me get out of here so we can let other people see the camper. And... Um, and let's go back and, and look at some of these uh, towables because I didn't realize that the pricing information was inside. So, so let me walk into the one that I was here earlier. As, as I said, I really like, I mean, you lose a little bit in storage capacity, but I really like the fact that you have that slide out kind of drawer. And uh, for example, yeah, they have the pricing inside. This one is $40,000, which uh, today is, 35 it seems kind of steep for a trailer of this size but you, you're talking about quality craftsmanship that lands really puts a lot of effort in making this a quality you have fantastic fan here let me see the bathroom again well you do have a regular uh, vent with a little fan here in the bathroom i would actually put a fantastic at the bathroom too if it were up to me and the tanks are very important to me. You have 26, 26, and 26, which 26 fresh seems small. But uh, at, at least you can rest assured you will never uh, overfill your, your gray water tank, which is actually uh, always kind of reassuring. Let me, let's look at one of the larger ones, and then we're going to move on to another, to another brand of RVs. These are really cool. Very, very good. Uh, uh, quality craftsmanship let me see this one i like that that large window over there and here you have a dinette in the back and i like the fact that you have three uh, large windows here in the back in front of your dinette and look at that window like <laughs> in your bedroom and the skylights i mean this is 
This is what I like about these Lance campers. All the amount of windows and you have there on the left 110 USB and 12 volt and here also 110 USB and, uh, and 12 volt which you all know we all have all kinds of devices that we want to charge. Of course here you will pay, I mean this is almost Airstream uh, price range here by, by, by now. 60 grand, 53 to 45 here at the RV show today which um, yeah it's cool. So, 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 so when people ask me, you know, if I would recommend anything besides what I have, I have heard so many great things about the Lance campers and you know, alu aluminum frame constructions, with construction which means it is lighter. Uh, let me see, for example, actually, there's, there's, that's something I wanted to, to see at the, at the first one that we saw. Let's compare apple to apples here. Let me see if, the, if it does say a dry weight for this one. No cell stacks in Delaware. There you go. That's where you have to go by. And I kind of like this one because I don't think it has slides. But you know, it's, uh, that's something that it's one of my things. I know you all like it. My only thing for this one right now is that the, the tanks are kind of small. But let me see if I can see here. The, okay. Uh, dry weight is 3,000, so that's about the same as, as uh, Mini Tini, the trailer, uh, our Micro Mini, and, and the GBWR, which is gross vehicle weight rating, is 3,700, and the interior floor length is 1,410. Feels larger than that, actually. But this is cool. I like it. I, I like the fact that they don't put a dinette, but they put like two... two nice recliners although if you have to work from the road that may not be the best solution but these are cool let me see one of the larger travel trailers and then uh, we go as i said and see something else okay this is a six thousand pound tow vehicle compatible here And now here we have something much, much longer. This is a 2285. And let's check out this floor plan real quick here. We have a dinette on that side on a slide out. We have two, <coughs> two recliners here on this side. And uh, nice galley. Not a whole lot of uh, prep space here. And, uh, but it's, oh, I mean, you, they, they have a, a trash can built in there. This one is 55.942 uh, and uh, it is 48 grand today at the RV show. Here we have a microwave, of course. The U-shaped dinette. <clears throat> nice bedroom, you know, walk around bed, which is also, also so comfortable because even though it might be fun, you don't really want to be like <clears throat> crawling over each other. And uh, yeah, I see that they, <clears throat> all of them here, they have uh, a power outlet and uh, USB and 12 volt. And oh, they, here's, they have a sink and a uh, little counter space here for the sink. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my, I'm losing my voice and it's only like 9.50 a.m. This is a, another door here and uh, the bathroom. That's very nice, very, very nice ample shower here with, with this uh, sliding curtain. And yeah, that's a lot of deep, that's very deep storage in there, very deep. Like, you know, you can, you can have a six month supply of toilet paper in there and uh, you'll be fine. Okay, this is cool. Let's uh, see the, the, the holding tanks here real quick. Okay, now we're talking 45 gallon uh, fresh water, but check it out, the gray water tank. It's 90 gallons. You, I mean, you, you can probably stay up to 10 days. And if, if you're judicious with your water consumption, you will never fill that up. So, so this is a boondocking camper for sure. You put some solar panels on the roof. Maybe I, I have no idea what batteries. I don't know if they say uh, what kind of electrical. No, no, I couldn't find the battery information. But for some serious boondocking, you would probably want to upgrade that. Let's hear in the front. I mean, the storage compartment is not as huge as others we've seen, but look at that. 
look at that slide out drawer. So it is, it is very easy to find anything. You know, some things in my, in my own travel trailer, sometimes they fall into the black hole back there and you will never be able to find them. And uh, here, just slide it out. Here we have the propane tank. I believe it is it's only one tank. Very nice electric jack with, uh, yeah, with a battery indicator, I guess. And I don't, know where they, I don't know where they put the batteries in these ones. I think, oh, this is the battery compartment, isn't it? Yeah. And here you have, I, th I guess it is only one, one lead acid, or it could be AGM battery as well. It's not in there unless you have another one on this side, which you do. Okay, so it has one battery on this side, and I suppose the, the one on the other side would be optional, which that's cool. So you have 200 amp hours which would be if, if you have a little bit of, if you have 200 watts of solar on the roof if you add that you would have a, a pretty much a, almost a, you know on sunny days almost unlimited power if you if you're judicious of course with your power consumption okay this one is kind of busy inside so i'm not gonna uh, uh, check out that one but anyways Lance campers, very cool. I like them. Uh, I, I like what, what they're doing and uh, and seems uh, like a high quality con construction. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Let's let's go see something else.